Okay, today we are unboxing a brand new Mossmatic surface cleaner. So, we have to open up the box, of course. Pull out all our little parts. Now this is part of the wand, part of the handle. And, should have cleared the bench, but there's nozzles. Good to know. Here's our trigger gun, which we have to do. And open up our pop. There's the deck. Pretty, 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 pretty. So let's pull it out of the box. Get rid of our box so we can work on our bench. Take out the bolts. Put them where you can find them. This particular model, we ordered an extra, uh, ordered an extra wand or, or spray bar for. So we're gonna get that off here. Now we got our wand apart. We can stick the uh, two halves of the wand together. First thing we have to do is pull this bolt out, of course. And then slide it up inside our inside our other wand piece. Put our bolt back in. So I'm just going to finger tighten these for now. I'm going to tighten these. We're going to tighten them up later, and then do the same with the the wand to the deck. Put our bolts back in. Set that down there. And then same with the other side. Again, I'm just finger tightening these for right now. And this cap, protective cap comes off. And we get our hose. And then our hose just screws down on top of the swivel. It's 22 millimeter twist coupler, so you just got to line it up, make sure everything gets lined up real good and tighten it down hand tight. Doesn't need to be super tight. All right. And, ta-da, there we go. Just following up with the 30 inch or all Mossmatic surface cleaners will come with a 1503 nozzle pre-installed on the spray bars. Doesn't matter if it's a two arm or a three arm, they will always be pre-installed with a 1503 spray nozzle. So now it's time to go ahead and tighten up our our bolts. Tighten up before. And those are pretty simple. Just need a uh, let's see here, get a wrench. And of course left-handed wrenches, right-handed people, those work real well. All right, there's that one. Let's do these two down here. Now the ones down here on the bottom, they just need to be snugged up to the point of, um, they hit the nylocks, so the nylock locking material, because that way they can, they're not over-tightening and, and getting, so you're, so it pinches your pinches your uh, your arm. You want, to, you want it to make sure it moves freely. All right. Take care of this one. Just 
lug it up. That's all it needs. Okay, this one's, oop, we gotta put our trigger gun on, and other than that, this one's ready to operate. Let's get our trigger gun on here. Now again, 22 millimeter feeding, so all we have to do is just unscrew it off right here, screw it into our trigger gun, which comes supplied. All right, we take that fitting and we screw it in the front of our trigger gun, so we have to tighten it down, Teflon tape everything, of course, as normal, and tighten that down. Okay, and, and of course you want to put on whatever fitting you want on the inlet of your trigger gun, whether your socket or plug, whichever you use, but in that, you just uh, basically uh, screw down the 22 millimeter fitting for the trigger gun, and there you go, you're ready to run.